Hey, Visate here, and I wanted a purple or a blue shirt for Noodle King, but I couldn't find a purple shirt. But I'm just wearing a blue shirt. But yeah, that's what we're looking at today. The hidden ability and not hidden ability of Noodle King and Noodle Queen. They're in the same den, uh, same abilities. Uh, yeah. All right, so they both have the ability Poison Point and Rivalry for the regular abilities and then Sheer Force for the hidden abilities. So Poison Point is that if you do physical contact with it, there's a 30% chance that opponent will be like, poisoned. And then Rivalry is that they'll have 25% damage increase if it's the same gender, but if it's the opposite gender, it'll be 25% decrease in special attack and regular attack. Then Sheer Force is that the secondary effect is removed, but the power of that move is increased by 30%. Uh, for example, Poison Jab, right? You can do Poison, it has a chance to do Poison, but that will never happen if you have Sheer Force. Alright, so on Pokemon Sword, Nidal Queen spawns more often than Nidal King, and then on Pokemon Shield, Nidal King spawns more than Nidal Queen. The rates are like the same, it's just that on a different version they swap, right? So then 174, which is the Red Beam, uh, in case you don't want the hidden ability, and if you do want the guaranteed hidden ability, 175, which is the same den, but it's a purple beam. So we have 15% for a 4 star for a Nidal Queen, and, and then 25% for a uh, Nidal Queen for 5 star, and another 15% for a 5 star, and that's in the red beam. And then Nidal King is 15% for a 5 star, and then you swap them for a shield, right? And, and these also spawn. Nidorinos and Nidorinas at the same rate of 15% for 3 star and 25% for 5 star. And then there's also the chance of spawning Nidoran and the, the little ones, but then 25% for the less one. So the Nidal King, Nid the male Nidoran is 25%. Then Nidoran female is 30%. That's for sword. And then you swap them again for shield. I know it's confusing. But this basic TLDR, Nidal Queen spawns more than Nidal King, and then vice versa, depending on the version. All right, I talk too much, so I'm just gonna show you the. I'm showing two dens. One, the Giant's Bed, and then uh, we'll go to the one near the Dyna Tree, and then yeah. So you wanna go to yeah, we're on the Reggie. So go around here, and you see that red beam over there? That is the den. Uh, you want to draw a piece and um, this one's actually further from a waypoint than the one I'm gonna go to so if you have this waypoint unlocked just go down here the Dyna Tree Hill instead and then go turn real quick and there's the den right here oh that's so much easier than going from uh, the Reggie tempo and then do your thing right so if you want to hit, guarantee hidden ability which I'm probably gonna do uh, we're gonna save right in front of this and if you don't want the guaranteed hidden ability just just spawn a red beam but if you want a purple piece you just uh, click or press yes here and then we're gonna press the home button like right off the bat right and then it didn't lag it was you saw it was a red beam right so you would restart the game you would go back in and you do it again until you get a purple beam all right, so it lagged a little bit. I got a purple beam, like just resetting it once. So we're going here. Is there already a Nidal King, right? Um, if you run a Nidal Queen or vice versa, whatever, you're gonna go click invite others, right? And then you're gonna press home. Go back to the menu. You're gonna system settings here. Date time, if you had that on, turn it off. You go down, increase it by one day. Press okay, go back into the game, press quit. That will reset the den. And you can farm wasps like that and everything. That would see you could get try to get new Pokemon. I got the same Pokemon, so we're just gonna go in. You saw it was red, right? It was glowing. Just gonna go in. I'm gonna swap to my Garnivore with Trace just to show you that it's guaranteed hidden ability. Or it's gonna be hidden ability for sure. I'm not gonna invite anything. I'm just gonna do this since I'm offline and everything. So make sure offline while you're doing that, invite other things. Otherwise, you're gonna spam people. That's not good. We have a Nidal King here. My monitor down is maxed on here and on here. All right. There you go. Sheer Forest, right? There you go. 
So if you want the chance of a regular one, uh, it's poison, right? So psychic. If you want a chance of a regular one, then you would just try to spawn a red beam, and then hopefully you don't get a hidden ability from that. You can still get hidden ability. Oh yeah, the race for a purple. I haven't done that yet. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go over that right now. <laughs> oh, like, wait a minute. That that's only the red beam rate. The purple beam rate is 15% for 4 star and 20% for 5 star. Um, and another node with the same rate, so another 15% for 4 star and 20% for 5 star. And then, uh, Nidal King, 50%, okay, for me, is uh, Nidal Queen is more often, right? So that was the Nidal Queen rates. And Nidal King rates is uh, four, 4 star is 15% and 20% for a 5 star. Oh my god, I've been talking too much. But yeah, and then uh, the purple one only spawned in arena, by the way. Holy moly. Okay, we're wrecking. We're wrecking fools. Why are you helping hang Togepi? God. I know I was talking too much about the race earlier, so I forget which is gonna go in, and then I just forgot to talk about the purple beam rates. Technically, the purple beam rates are higher to spawn these guys, but um, might not want the hidden ability. Or why wouldn't you, right, Kappa? But yeah, if you want a GMAX Garbodor as well, this has 15% for 5 star for GMAX Garbodor. Or Purple Beam, that is. Purple Beam. Alright, we're done. Catch this little Luxury Ball because of the hidden ability. And since I'm host, I am guaranteed to catch. And hopefully, you guys enjoy the video and whatnot. And I uh, hopefully see you guys next time. Let me know what other Pokemon you guys want me to do. I think the next one I'm probably going to do. Electabuzz, I think. I don't know. I have to look at the comments. In community chat, we were talking about it. Alright, later days, guys.